Well, here we are, Alan, off and running. We love this competition, the Champions Cup. It's the group stage, match day one. Yeah, the start of what can be a fantastic journey if you put it together, if you do everything right. Big game. Here for you today, Juventus against Wolfsburg. Three changes for Juventus. Gigi Buffon plays in goal. Giorgio Chiellini plays with Andrea Basali in central defence. Paul Pogba plays alongside Claudio Marchisio in the middle of the park. In attack, Mario Mandzukic does. He's been in tremendous form recently. Ball goes out of play here quite clearly. Uh, an attempted pass, but not a good one. He's got room to hit this. Mandzukic! Oh, fantastic goal! Rodolfo Mandzukic, and what a strike that is. Two keepers wouldn't have stopped that top left. Brilliant. And here is another angle on that goal. Juventus in the lead. Joshua Gilavogi. Berinha. Dante. Ricardo Rodriguez. Naldo. Marquisio. Well, it's a great competition, isn't it? The Champions Cup. I don't think there's anything better in clubs. He's got his shot off now. I know sometimes we don't give defenders enough credit, but I think they were responsible for the uh, margin of that miss. Yeah, even though they couldn't get the foot on the ball, their presence was enough to put the player off. Leonardo Panucci. Quadrado. Chance. Right in the corner there, but that will be a throw. Never quite as simple as you think to throw the ball to one of your teammates. A good control under pressure. Julian Draxler. And very surely. And that is now. Uh, Verinha, Joshua Gilavogi, Christian Trash. He's going to cross it. Driven. They pulled it back level. A goal from Luis Gustavo. And the way he's followed it, the keeper really couldn't get across quickly enough. It's a fantastic strike. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. Luis Gustavo. Naldo. Well, you can see what he was trying to do, but the pass wasn't on. It was a, a bad ball, as it turned out. Into the attacking third. The score! He's kept it out. Well, this corner to come, and it could break the game open again for them. Marquisio! Shots on here. Well, a corner to come because of that deflection. Played it well. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Nice bit of footwork from the attacker, but it was made too easy for him. And Zukic, they've got him to score here. 
both at Mandzukic. And that's blown past the keeper before really he could react. You can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. We restart the game 2-1. It is Juventus having to work really hard here to protect this lead with half time approaching. Very good passing from this team. Marquisio. <laughs> Terrific tackle. Here's the cross in towards Mandzukic. Well, the cross came in, but it... Half-time now, and 2-1 is the score at the break. Not often, Alan, do you see one man have one half like he's had. On top of his game out there, and I'm sure he'll be thinking about grabbing his hat-trick in the second half. It is going to be a change in midfield, and a, a good performer is going to... Champions Cup. Monaco, 2. Bayer Leverkusen, 0. Arsenal, 0. Chelsea, 4. Sevilla, 0. Bayern Munich, 1. Galatasaray, nil. Juventus, two. Wolfsburg, one. Hi there, Alan Smith. Hi there to everybody from both of us, and welcome to this big match today. It's Genoa against Juventus. Let's check now on Genoa and their team lineup today. Levin Gemaili starts a player struggling for four. It's good to see them going with two strikers today. Here's the kickoff, and the game is underway. Well, they're back defending, and they've cut the pass out there, and maybe that will ease the pressure. That's safely away. Juventus will get the throw. Dybala. He's going to cross it. That's an mark. And they've scored. And the first goal will be such a boost to them. for Masamoa and the keeper doesn't have to bother diving for that one bottom left what a shot let's see the replay now and 
and that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. On to the attack now. He's got a cross to make that interception. He saw it coming. Taxidis. Cut on. And it's just over the bar. It's with Bazali. Mandzukic. Excellent defensive tackle. Marchese. He's gone in very fairly. And won the ball cleanly. Keep an eye on the visiting team today because they're going for a fourth consecutive victory. And they've defended well during that period, and I think they'll have to do that here, away from their own ground. Great ball. Hot bar. It's bounced back. Need to play from the bar. Good place to win the ball back there, because the pressure was starting to mount, and the interception was timely, to say the least. And he gives it back to his teammate. Just worried about the rain only in that it's uh, impairing a bit our visibility of the proceedings out there on the pitch. Yeah, well, nice and dry up here, but uh, unlike the players, uh, who will be pretty wet after five minutes. Mario Marquisio. Nicolas Sandres Cordiso. Asio Sechi. Jukic on the back of a truly fantastic season. The Juventus really have raised the bar, particularly for their own supporters. They've opened them up here. Great stop. Corner for Juventus. a problem until the clearance was made and the referee's given a corner to Juventus comes out with a punch to clear the danger he's got his shot off now nowhere near the goal actually you can see it again actually Asamoah's goal Rincon Taxidis Shots on here. And in the end, it's nowhere near the target. So it's 1 0 here as the half time whistle goes. Juventus played well in that first half, they deserved their lead. Second half now, we'll see what they're made of for that. He slipped his man. Space to try and hit it now, he's kept it out. That's really well done, good defending. 
Well, they might not be rushing to take the corner. A goal to the good, of course. It's a real tussle between the two of them to try and get the ball. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his... Hopper! Wonderful save. Had to really reach out for that. Good clearance. Let's out for a corner. He's made the save. Nicolas Andres Cordiso Taxidis. Another transfer involving Kevin De Bruyne. He has moved to Manchester City. Well, we're here in around £45 million, pounds, and for that kind of money, the fans will be expecting something pretty decent. Now the shot! Catching practice for Buffon. through and here's the shot well he got away and it looked as though he was going to score so close decent effort Alan well he did everything right or nine tenths right at least just that final finish couldn't manage it Jim Eiley. now they can go forward having won the ball Sammy Kadira Coming up, of course, EA Sports presenting the Serie A fixture. Genoa will be facing Lazio away from home. Yeah, quite often a bit of needle between these two teams. Looking forward to it. Jim Eiley. There's no time to panic. There's still time to change this game. Well, those defenders are going to be asked to head the ball. Quite a lot, I think. Plenty of aerial balls are going to be coming their way in the next few moments. Well, he's pulled up there. That could be a pulled muscle. Well, they're still battling to try and get their search for supremacy successful. Possession facts suggest that the battling is still going on. That's right. One thing having possession, but another thing being positive and using it in the right areas. The score! Goal! Pogba and the keeper dives but really he's wasting his time it's finished up right in the top left hand corner well it's a goal worth replaying over and over again isn't it just widen the margin here to 2-0 the way to do it I would say the way Juventus have done it here they've not given the opposition a sniff although we've got a few minutes to go this has been comprehensive gonna try it a poor shot really in the circumstances Thomas <laughs> Rincon Jim Eiley. Talk about placing it. He knew exactly what he wanted to do with it. Another angle on it here. I have to say it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team. They're racking up the goals. 
two minutes left. That's added time. Taxidis. Jamali. Jamali. Shots on here. At full extension, the goalkeeper makes the save. So the corner about to be taken. Oh, that's a poor attempt. The referee has brought a halt to it. That's full time. Serie A, At Atlanta 3, Hellas Verona 1, Bologna 1, Frosinone 1, Chievo Verona 1, Inter 0, Genoa 0, Juventus 3, AC Milan 1, Palermo 1. Two, Fiorentina one, Bologna two, Inter one, Hellas Verona. Hi there again, everybody. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith for your commentary today on this match, which is going to have an extra factor to it, the heavy rain that's been falling. Yeah, the ball is going to skid across the surface. I did used to like these kind of conditions because you get one or two mistakes. If you're on your toes, it's one or two goals about for strikers. And today it's Napoli against Juventus. Such an important position in the modern game, uh, full-back, and they've strengthened, haven't they, with this signing? Yeah, and I think you're always looking for athleticism when you're looking at your full-backs, and this is a player that can get up and down all day. Alan, you saw a lot of Juventus as they made their way to the final of Europe's elite club competition in uh, 2015. Yeah, and, and great to see them back where they belong, really. One of uh, the great old clubs. And a bit like the Manchester United of Italy, so many fans across that country and uh, their team doing that reputation justice now. It's Napoli's lineup. Well, it's pretty fashionable these days, isn't it? The 4 3 3 gives you the three in midfield, which managers like to have that extra solidity. Yeah, that's right. I'm just looking at the two wide lads up top, they are more central strikers trying to do a job. Be interested to see how they get on. Wholesale changes for Juventus. Gigi Buffon plays in goal. Leonardo Bonucci does. You don't need to see all the cards here from the referee, and he's keeping the cards in his pocket. Just a free kick. Well, he's failed to keep his shot down. Well, he went for the uh, the top corner, 
and uh, just got it up too much. Yeah, maybe just leaning back, and uh, that was the downfall in that. David Alaba. Mario Marquisio. He's almost lent him the ball on that occasion. He wants it returned, and it's returned to him. The score! That's perhaps as much down to the conditions that miss Alan as to the player himself. Yeah, it's a wet surface and obviously a wet ball. Your timing has got to be spot on. Raul Albiol. Juventus will get the throw. Leonardo Benucci. Here's a goal from the Stadio Olimpico, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Roma. It's been scored by Alessandro Florenzi. He's beaten two defenders, then rounded the keeper. Lovely goal. 19 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Lost his man. Marquisio! Oh, fantastic goal! Well, it flew in just under the crossbar. Yeah, I think he thought for a moment there it was going to actually hit the bar, but... No, he's got a goal, and it's a good one. Well, let's take another look at the goal. <laughs> so the first goal, it's 1-0. Quadrado Mario Marquisio Good work by the goalkeeper That's a serious situation And on he goes Space for the shot Hopper! Oh, it's in there. A goal from Pogba, and the keeper's got no chance because he's hit it so hard to his right. And here is another angle on that goal. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Gula. Strong, fair challenge, pulls out for a throw, though. They're on the move now. Cleared it well. Real good contest between these two as they jostle for possession. Allen. is it looking for Hamshik Hamshik a oh, great work by the keeper reflected behind a clear corner Mario Marquisio
The break is definitely on. He's got his shot off now. Here's the shot, and it's just wide of the target. Marquisio. And there goes the whistle for half time. And the scoreline is 2 0. Thing. Marquisio. Oh, fantastic goal. That's a serious situation. Well, the drainage is very good these days, but it's going to be tested to the full here. It's an awful day. Insignia. hit it hard and true but the goalkeeper doesn't have to move Marquisio and a shot super goal Scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special. And he is feeling that special delight at the moment. And we can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. I don't think we expected this. Such a one sided affair, but look at the scoreline. The substitute is ready for Juventus. The shot's on! Good stop by the goalkeeper. Mandzukic. even better play to stop the chance oh, I love the tackle it's gone for a throw he could have been a bit luckier there just a change now he's bringing on a new player goal news from the Stadio Olimpico Alan McAnally it's a third goal for Roma it's been scored by Stefan El Sharawi that's his second today. A first-time strike from a ball over the top from fully 25 yards. 67 minutes played, 3-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Well, that's very good positional play, and he's uh, read the situation perfectly with that interception. He might be through. Shoots! Great stop. The score! And the cross coming in. That is a fantastic goal. A goal from Murata. And look at that. It's hit the stanchion top right. No keeper would get a hand on that. And that's a goal well worth analysing again. It's 
turning out to be a, a comfortable game, this 4-0. Goal news from the Stadio Olimpico, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for the visitors, 74 minutes play, 3-1. Cheers, Alan. Manolo Gabbiadini. Well, the ball deserved perhaps a better response from his teammates in the middle. The defender got there first, though. Substitution for Napoli. Morata. There's the ball in. It's another very good save. It didn't get away from him, the ball, either. Hamshik. It goes out wide again. He's going to try it. Round back off the post. Only two more minutes to be added on by the referee now. This could be it. And here's the shot. Very good stop here. It's their corner. Quite keep his composure there on this slippery surface. Yeah, not easy. The ball's skidding up very quickly towards him. Morata. The victory today goes to Juventus. Well, it turned out to be a different kind of game to the one. Serie A, Napoli nil, Juventus four. Let's see what that means for the league tables. At the top of the table remain Juventus with 18 points. In second, Inter with 12 points. In third, Lazio with nine points. In fourth, Roma with nine points. In fifth, Atalanta with nine points. In sixth, Torino with eight points. In seventh, Sampdoria with eight points. In eighth, AC Milan with eight points. Bottom of the table, Frosinone with one point. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Palermo with two points. Third bottom, Hellas Verona with four points. Fourth bottom, Udinese with four points. Well, these two teams have already played, of course, on match day one. Now they are involved in this fixture in the Champions Cup match day two. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Uh, I think there's improvements to be made from both sides from match day one. So let's see if they can achieve that. Juventus, they'll be looking for another win. They played so well last time out. It was a away victory against Napoli. Well, 4-0. The manager would have been delighted. And I think he might be at the end of today as well. The line-up for the home side. Well, it's pretty fashionable these days, isn't it? The 4-3-3 three, three. gives you the three in midfield, which managers like to have that extra solidity. Yeah, that's right. I'm just looking at the two wide lads up top. They are more central strikers trying to do a job. It'll be interesting to see how they get on. Wholesale changes for Juventus. Gigi Buffon plays in goal. Andrea Basali starts with Leonardo Bonucci in central defence. Paul Pogba plays. We well, could be in. Morata! That's a brilliant goal, well taken. A goal for Murata. 
and the keeper dives, but really he's wasting his time. It's finished up right in the top left-hand corner. And here is another angle on that goal. It's Juventus in front. a great understanding with their passing Leonardo Benucci Azali uh, it's with Azali Pereira Pereira Asamoah Azali Turnover in play, and that's a throw for Juventus. Nick Steiner. Hopper! He wants to play on the shoulder of the last defender. He's just got to get it right. It's all about timing. the ball to the opposition real individual charge here with the ball he's still going this could be a chance here's a corner they're going to have to defend it punched away by the goalkeeper Rafailov. One back very quickly. Real good contest between these two as they jostle for possession. here Juventus they're not quite at the real peak of their performance and they'll be hoping that they can just push aside some of the cobwebs I think that they've shown in the first half a terrific stop Juventus will get the throw Dybala that throw is uh, definitely part of the attacking plan Pereira Keeper. Oh, it's the post. And he scores. Well, you've got to ask questions to the defence because they just didn't follow in there. Well, here's the goal again. Just widen the margin here to 2-0. We've got two added minutes. That's been signalled now. <laughs> Half-time now, and 2-0 is the score at the break. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. I would be happy with that first 45 minutes. It was a good goal from him, good overall performance, actually. And now 
it's a Juventus substitution. And the kickoff for the second half of their second game in the Champions Cup group stage. I enjoyed the first half, and uh, I don't think it would be too much different in the second. Trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Juventus are going to make the substitution. Dybala. Hedira. Stefan Lichstein is cross. Good judgment there to make that interception and clear the ball away oh it's a corner now for Juventus they've lost the ball Leo Rafailov save and to really reach out for that trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here and he's in there with a the header he's got a good spring Alan hasn't he and the ball sprung over the top he does time those jumps extremely well got up and above the defenders but just narrowly over Mario Marquisio his teammate well on EA Sports soon presenting the Serie A fixture coming up for Juventus they'll be hosting Bologna yeah good game big game difficult to call as well we know how many late goals come in this competition they want another one now well those defenders are going to be asked to head the ball quite a lot I think Plenty of aerial balls are going to be coming their way in the next few moments. So we'll restart with a throw-in. Timmy Simons. Giving the ball away now. This might be it! Out in front of goal. will be a goal kick that old song you only sing when you're winning well they're winning but they do plenty of singing when they're not well they're known for it aren't they and uh, it certainly helped the players out on the pitch there it spurred them on to victory it's going to be a substitution here for the home side and here's the shot very good stop here that will be a corner Very good match to watch and commentate on. And the Juventus are very good to watch and commentate on. And they've shown off a lot of their wide-ranging talents today. Leo Rafailov. One or two players are warming up for the home team. We'll see who comes on. And that's gone out of harm's way for a goal kick. Well, this is where substitutes are important. Who and when. Leonardo Bonucci, Sami Khedira. Well, only two more minutes to be added on by the referee now. Papa, goal!
goal from Pogba. Well, he's just feathered that into the right-hand side. That is a wonderful take. Let's have another peek at that goal. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. The victory today goes to Juventus. Well, we've seen a game here, Alan, where one team has had the ball and the other team hasn't. <laughs> yeah, there was, uh, there was a golfing class out there today, which was... Tough. Champions Cup, Monaco 2, Bayern Munich 1, Atletico Madrid 1, Galatasaray 1, Bayer Leverkusen 1, Barcelona 2, Real Madrid 2, Wolfsburg 1, Roma 1, Sevilla 1. Hi there, Martin Tyler here for you from the Juventus Stadium. And here for you today, Juventus against Bologna. Well, definitely a step in the right direction for Juventus to come to a stadium that has much more intimacy. I think everybody felt the old uh, Stadio della Alpi was uh, very uh, cavernous and not very welcoming. No, I, I played there against Torino once for Arsenal. It wasn't particularly atmospheric. It was like a morgue at times. You're so far away from the fans, but uh, this is much more like it, isn't it? And uh, it's always full. They've got such a following, Juventus. Wholesale changes for Juventus. Neto starts in goal. Leonardo Bonucci starts with Andrea Basali in the fullback positions. Paul Pogbas plays alongside Claudio Marchisio in the middle of the park. Mario Mandzukic is the main striker today. This is how the visitors will line up today. Well, they're going to go with 4-3-3 here, with uh, plenty of width to that attacking three. Yeah, you could almost describe it as the Dutch system down the years. And the three-pronged attack, it can be really potent, but... It can be awkward as well for those wide lads. An opportunity to see how far Juventus have come. Yeah, they're a classy outfit, these, aren't they? Uh, they've shown that so far this season. And um, they've got some resilience in the ranks as well. A bit of staying power, which is what you need. Any champion needs, potential champion. And these could be that kind of outfit this year. Oh, and goes across. They're giving the player the benefit of the doubt about that, but he's given the free kick. A oh, great work by the keeper. 
target today for the home side is incredibly a seventh consecutive victory. Well, it's been fantastic form from them, and on their own patch, they will be full of confidence. Penalty at Fiorentina. It's a penalty for Fiorentina. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. He steps up to take it. Oh, he's hit the post and it's no goal! Nine minutes played, it remains nil-nil. Thank you very much, Alan. Punched away by the goalkeeper. Juventus will get the throw. Mario Marquisio, Cuadrado. Play one on one, they've linked up well. Pogba, excellent block there. Cross coming in now. The keeper can collect this one. Kibala. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. That will help ease the pressure. Papa! That was close, but a fraction too hard. Munier. That's the way to win the ball back. A goal from uh, Palermo. It's a goal for Palermo. It's been scored by Alberto Gilardino. He met a cross full on the volley and smashed it home. 28 minutes played, 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan.